Two days into 2012, the Food and Drug Administration approved a narcotic known as Subsys, a fentanyl spray meant to help break through pain in adult cancer patients. The following year, a Colorado woman we'll simply call Mary showed up at the office of Dr. Jeffrey Keston. Did you know much about Subsys at the time? At the time, no. Fentanyl, yes. We interviewed Mary in 2017, right around the time we started tracking six-figure payments to Dr. Keston from the maker of Subsys, Arizona-based Insys Therapeutics. You had no idea at the time that he was getting paid by this company, Oh, no. You? No. With a lingering back problem, Mary started receiving 120 units of Subsys in the mail once a month. Her insurance picked up the four-figure tab each time. He told me that this medication would be shipped to me. It wasn't something that the regular pharmacy would carry. That same year, Insys paid her doctor $62,000, the first of what would turn into a series of profitable years for Dr. Keston, according to federal records reviewed by Nine Wants to Know. By 2017, Insys had paid Dr. Keston a total of $330,000, almost all for speaker fees. Today we learned those speaker fees were, in the allegations contained in this federal indictment, nothing more than bribes and kickbacks meant to entice Dr. Keston to write more prescriptions for Subsys. If the name Subsys sounds familiar, it's because the company that made it, in addition to recording this wildly distasteful rap video for one of its sales meetings, was founded by this man, John Kapoor, who is now serving a 66-month prison sentence for his role in bribing doctors to prescribe more subsis. Why it's taken so long to indict Dr. Keston, we can't say. You're already in a very precarious medical situation. But here he is last year at a conference in Colorado talking about giving ketamine to pain patients, something the state would go on to warn him about in this letter dated May 22nd of this year. By the way, as of now, Dr. Keston still has an active medical license in Colorado. As for Mary. Do you understand that what substance is approved by the F FDA for? For cancer patients. I'm not a cancer patient. You just have back pain. Yeah, I had back pain. I'm not one to throw in the white flag quickly. Dr. Keston's trial is set to start in November. He faces years in prison. Chris Vandermeer, Nine News. Dr. Keston gave us this statement late this afternoon. He said, I am innocent of these charges and I cannot comment any further due to pending litigation, but I would like to comment further at a later time as I am able to do so. Numerous doctors around the country have already been sent to prison for taking part in this same alleged kickback scheme.